Hi everyone, welcome to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I am styling my new Layered Bob haircut. Before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to all of you who left such sweet comments when I cut my hair. You've really made me feel good about my decision and I've been enjoying it so much. A lot of you have asked me how do I style it, so I'm doing a different style video today showing you how I get ready for the day to achieve two different looks. So the first is this just straight look with the layered bob, kind of the classic look. And the other is the more sort of modern beachy wave look. And so I have been playing around with both of these. I'm in no means a professional. <laughs> so this is just how I've been doing it. And because the haircut is still pretty new and I'm using a new styling tool, I haven't perfected everything yet, but this is what I'm doing to achieve the looks that you've been seeing. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching. I'm gonna be showing you how I do a blowout of my layered bob hairstyle. So it's gonna be a straight look and I'm gonna to try to give it as much volume as possible. As you can see, my hair is pretty flat. It's, um, I washed it this morning and it's been drying a little bit. I towel dried it. I have just a little bit of wave in my hair. It's more pronounced in the back. I don't know if you can see that than in the front but it tends to want to dry straight if I just let it air dry for the most part. So I am going to do a blowout to give it as much volume as possible. And I'm going to first show you how I would just do it with a blow dryer and a round brush. That's how I've always styled it before, but I have a new tool that I'm going to show you. And this video is in no way sponsored. It's just something that I bought on my own and I've been really loving. So I wanted to show it to you guys today. And it just makes the same style so much easier uh, and faster and I think it's even more gentle on my hair so first of all I'm gonna just talk you through a little bit about how I would just achieve this look with a regular round brush like this and a regular blow dryer so first of all for styling I like to use the aquage for my roots so I'm gonna put some of that in and I'm looking a little bit behind the camera at the mirror you can see what I'm doing here. And I just spray some in the roots. Kind of massage that in a little bit. A little extra in the back. Run that through really good. So after I get that in my hair, I've also been using this Lange Salt and Sea Texturizing Spray. I've got both of these products in my Amazon store along with the tool that I'm gonna show you. And with this, I love it. It really gives my hair some texture because my hair is very fine. I have a lot of very fine hair. So it's thick because I have a lot of it, but it's very fine. So it doesn't like to hold a curl. It doesn't like to maintain volume. So any products that I find that help me out in that area, I'm really loving. And this one's great. And I usually wash my hair about every other day. So this tends to give me enough sort of oomph in my hair to get some more volume out of it the second day. So after I have worked all of that in, I actually just use my regular blow dryer to get the roots rather dry before I start styling it. And the way I get as much volume as I can, sorry, you're not gonna be able to hear once I turn this on, is I turn my head upside down and get the roots. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Probably not gonna be able to hear me once I turn that on, but I just kind of tossle my hair around, lift it up at the roots, and try to get the root area somewhat dry before I start styling it. So I'm gonna do that first. So as you can see, after blowing it dry at the roots, I've got a little bit more volume going on here. And so this is good, this is what we want. And I'm gonna start by just showing you, without actually doing it, uh, how I would use my round brush in the blow dryer to achieve the look that I'm going for today. And so what I would do is take a section of my hair, and I always section off my hair and start from the bottom and work my way up, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you what I do. So I take the brush and I would roll it and 
over direct it, so pushing it over. And then I would take my blow dryer, and down like this so you can see, and, and blow dry downwards. Not up like this, because this will just rough up your hair, it will be frizzy, <laughs> and this will give you the smooth look. Like I said, you can totally do the same look with just a blow dryer and a round brush, but this makes it a lot easier. This tool is sort of a blow dryer, sort of curling iron, flat iron brush all in one. And so it's got a metal barrel, and I don't know if you can really see the shape. I'll try to aim it so that you can see. It's like an oval shape. So instead of round, it's oval. And it just does a great job of smoothing my hair, giving me volume. And because it's just one tool all in one, it's not as complicated, you know, holding a blow dryer with one hand and the brush with the other. Um, if you're not used to styling your hair that way, it takes a little practice and this is just easy. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And I always start off by sectioning off my hair so that I can work with it layer by layer. So do that first. All right, so I've got the layers. I've got two layers pinned up on top of my head. Get this plugged in. It doesn't take any time to warm up. And it's got about four different settings on it. It has um, a cool, a low, and a high setting. And I find that I only really need to have it on the low, uh, which with the heating tools, depending on your texture hair, definitely go with the lowest setting that you can get away with to achieve the look that you're going after so you won't damage your hair. And so basically you just turn it on and you can switch it over to cool to help set it. And sometimes I do that as well, so I will have it on low and hold it that way for a couple of minutes and then when I'm ready to set it, I'll switch it over to cool. So let's get started and I'll show you. I'm just gonna go around the bottom section, lifting it up and curling it under to get as much volume as possible. So this is on the low setting and I'm just putting it in, lifting it up and rolling it around. On this bottom layer, it's not giving me a ton of curl, but I'm just kind of directing that hair up and under. And I'm gonna continue doing it all around this bottom layer. Okay, so I've got the bottom layer done. And I'm gonna take the next one down. And just keep doing the same thing all the way around. got the next layer done and as you can see it's starting to get a little bit more body up here and the top layer will be the most important as far as redirecting it over directing it you know in the opposite direction that it's going to lay to lift it a little bit more I'm just gonna check the back quickly if I have any sort of I see back here a place where it's sort of flipping so I'm gonna work on that just to get it to go under a little bit more I'm just taking down this top layer and I'm going to keep doing the same thing, working in sections and over directing. So up and over.
So this hair in the front, I'm gonna kind of blow dry it the opposite way, but I know that it's going to lay, at least at the roots. Then I would just take my brush, kind of make sure that it's rolled under. I'm having a lot of problem with my hair flipping today, of course. <laughs> Normally it tends to go a little bit better. I think I'm working at a weird angle trying to be in front of the camera, but I just will keep trying to lift it a little bit and create the volume. And I forgot my hairspray. So this is the Kenra volume spray. And I will just mist it a little bit. I have a lot of little baby hair flyaways, so I kind of smooth those down. And I checked it back. Everything a little mist. And that's it. <laughs> so you can see I've got a little bit more volume. I mean, with my texture hair, I never can get like a ton of lift on top, but this is pretty good. And with this tool, I found that it lasts pretty much all day unless we have very humid weather. So that is the straight look for the layer bob. way that I've been wearing my hair is sort of a beachy wave look. I have a little bit of natural wave in my hair, but it's kind of hard to coax out. And so I usually use this method or have this look on the second day. So I blue dry my hair like you saw yesterday, and this is what it looks like on the second day. It's a little bit flat. And as you can see in the back, it's flipping up a little bit. And so instead of redoing my hair, which is easy to do with the tool that I showed you, I am going to use my curling iron and just give it some beachy waves. That'll give it a little bit of volume and it's pretty quick and easy too. So I'll show you how I do it. I am just using a large barrel curling iron. I think this is a one and a half inch. So if that's not right, I'll put it down below. Um, and this one is just one from Conair. It's nothing special. Uh, I would recommend if you want it to be a little bit of a tighter curl or you want it to last a little bit longer that a smaller barrel is probably better. But if you're just going for a beachy wave that will just last for one day, at least in my hair it does, I like using this big barrel. So I just start off just like I did yesterday. I'm looking in the mirror behind. Uh, parting off my hair and I will just take one layer kind of flick it around at the top. It's always a gorgeous look <laughs> and then I do a second layer and just get this out of the way. I'll turn around so you can see. And that way I don't have, you know, too much hair to deal with and it's a little bit easier. And so I'll just start with this bottom layer. And I'm just going to take the curling iron and basically roll it back away from my face until the center and back and then away from my face on the other side. And so I just put the barrel in and again, I'm just going to like over direct it to give it volume. And these lower layers are not really going to be seen and you're not going to really notice a big difference, but it's just going to give it a tiny bit of body below there. Get 
again, I'll take another piece. And just be careful when you're doing this because when you have shorter hair like this, it is easier to burn yourself when you're getting close to the root. And that is the trick with this I found is getting your curling iron as close to the root as possible and also sort of lifting it up. And I'll show you on some of the upper layers what I mean by that. My comb in the sink. <laughs> then again, on this side, oop, there I go, almost burnt my ear. I'm sort of famous for burning myself with a curling iron. I've had some epic burns. <laughs> and I really love that tool. I've done a video on it before. It's the Chi Curl and Spin. I think it's called Curl and Spin. And I have a video where I reviewed that. I love it. Uh, but with this length of hair, it's just not doesn't work really well. It's better for longer hair, but for longer hair, it's wonderful. And it's like a burn proof way to curl your hair, which I love. It does the most beautiful curls and it's really easy. All right, so I've got it. Let me get my mirror so I can check it too. As you can see in the back, I mean, it's not great, but this is all gonna be covered and it's just giving it a little bit of you know, something going on back there, a little bit of volume. So I'm gonna take down the next layer. And you can do, depending on the thickness of your hair, um, you know, more layers, just so that you're not putting too much into the curling iron at one time. And I'm just going to kind of direct it up. And here you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. I'm just kind of slowly spinning it around and then when I'm ready to take it out, I'll just let it go down. And it's just a very slight bend almost. But we're gonna try to get as much volume out of it as possible. And I do not really brush my hair before I go to bed at night. Uh, you know, I have some hair product in there, some hairspray and stuff as you saw. And I find that my hair does better if I just pretty much leave it alone before I go to bed. And then when I get up in the morning, sometimes, you know, some of that product is still holding <laughs> and I have to brush it out. But I just find that it does a little bit better. It's a little less flat if you have really fine hair like I do. that. So I'm just going to keep going. I'll probably speed it up a little bit here so you don't have to watch every little bit. And when I get to the next layer, I'll talk you through what I'm doing. got the next layer and now for the top layer and sometimes I will separate this out again if I feel like it's necessary I just kind of go through and see and a couple other things that I should mention I kind of don't stick with the same sort of width hair that I put in I vary it a little bit so some areas I will take less hair some areas a little bit more just to make it look a little bit more natural a little less regular and with my very fine hair, I don't need to have really high heat. So this one is adjustable. I would definitely recommend getting a curling iron that has different levels of heat so that you can change that according to what you need. And just try to use the least amount of heat you can for the type of hair that you have so that you're not going to burn it or just you know process it over time in a way that's gonna be damaging. Just try to get up. I think I just turned it up a little bit so that I'm over directing it up so I can get some volume there as I slowly twist it around and you don't have to hold it in for too long and take it out and you can see I created a little bit of volume it's probably gonna go a little flat on me but I can fix that when I'm styling it and I'm gonna grab the next section we do a little bit thinner section this time. And just once I get to the middle of my head, I pretty much start 
rolling the other direction so that it's always going away from my face. And I'm gonna use the mirror. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I use the mirror to make sure I'm grabbing all the hair in the back. Switching hands this time. Trying to keep it perpendicular to my head as I roll it around. Starting at the root to get the most lift. Again, just pretty much curling it almost straight back. Now, I definitely found that it's important to let the hair cool before you do anything to it. So I let it sit like this. Be back in a second. I'm going to grab my hairspray because I'm going to give it a little spritz too before I do anything to it, and that will help it keep its hold. So this has always been my favorite. This is the Kenra Volume Spray. I have it in my Amazon store. Um, I have it both in this, um, I don't know if it's aerosol, but it's like an aerosol spray. And then also the pump is really good too. Um, just whatever you prefer. This one probably does a little bit more of an even, you know, finer coat. So I'm just gonna spray that all over just lightly and give it a minute so it's not wet. And the best thing to do to style it is to just kind of finger comb it a little bit. You don't want to break up the curl too much because there's not really much curl. It's just a slight wave. And you see how I created a little volume here just mess with it a little bit. Kind of run my fingers from underneath. To lift it up. Then in the front, just rake it slightly. It's gonna be that sort of messy look. So you can see it's just a very easy, messy look. Once I quit playing with it, I'll spray it again with hairspray. I'm gonna turn around and take a look at the back because that probably needs some attention. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing. Just kind of keep on making sure it's fluffed up in the back. And once I have it like I like it, I'll give it another spray. So just lift it up a little bit like that if you want just a little more volume at the top. messing with it a lot more than I normally do. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I mean, if there's any little pieces sticking out that you don't like, just kind of fix those, but that's basically it. So I'll try to turn around and show you what I did. So that's my second look, my second day hair. It's just a really casual wave. Like I said, if you want more, I would use a smaller barrel curling iron and the same exact method, and you will definitely get a tighter curl. This one tends to just give some volume at the top and just like a little flip around the bottom. So <laughs> there's how I style my hair. 
Thank you guys for being interested and for all of the really sweet comments that you've given me about my new do. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you there and in the next video. Have a great week.